Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt tōku ingoa. My name is Sharon Holt and I thought it would be a good chance now that I've been doing my Patreon site for a little while to just go over um, some of the important things about making sure that we're still on our journey with Te Reo Māori. It's really easy to kind of stop at a certain place and get stuck and it's because we perhaps don't know what to do next or how to make progress. Um, but it's a bit like most things in, in life, as long as you're doing something, then you're actually mo making progress. So on my site, if you use the tags, you can find um, things in categories. So there'll be tags to do with pronunciation, and you can work your way through as you want, whenever you want, whatever you're interested in, the pronunciation. You can work your way through other categories, and we'll talk about that now firstly. So we just know how to maybe move on if we're kind of just feeling like, oh, I'm not sure this is actually um, that I'm making much progress. You probably are, but you might not realise. So how to make progress. So the first thing is to check that your pronunciation is really, really the best it can be for you. And so if you've looked at all the pronunciation videos and taken all that in and understand about the pronunciation of the vowels and breaking at every vowel, the thing about the pronunciation is to keep practicing. I keep practicing my pronunciation all the time when I see signs. So I might see signs in the supermarket or the library of, of things that have been translated into Te Reo Māori and I see signs, um, signposts, place names, street names, river names. I'm always practicing them out loud. So even though my pronunciation is on the really good side, there's still things that I can improve. And if I spent the next six months not saying any of the Māori language out loud, my pronunciation would go down. So it's really important to keep our pronunciation practice going. If nothing else, that is very important. So check your pronunciation, make sure you've seen those videos, look at any of them again if you need to, and keep practicing pronunciation out loud. Your brain needs to hear your mouth speaking. So the second thing is to, as well as doing that, these are kind of concurrent, is to use the words that you do actually know. So we, we most of us know some words in te reo. You might know kia ora. So kia ora is good for hello and thank you. In New Zealand and you know perhaps other places as well, widely understood. You don't need to explain what you mean, particularly for hello. Um, some people might know that it mean might not know that it means thanks as well but anyway I use kia ora for hello and thank you as often as I can because then my brain is hearing my mouth speak te reo and people can list off the words that they know and that they can pronounce carefully uh, correctly but it doesn't mean that they use them every situation they could and um, there are more and more New Zealand people now of all ethnicities using kia ora as a greeting. So I really encourage you to use the words that you know and the phrases that you know. Um, haere mai, uh, no mai haere mai, kia ora, and I for yes. So I, I is yes in te reo, and that's another one that I use a lot as well. Nobody ever questions me, they know what I mean when I say that. And so you will have your own ones that you know. It might be to do with colours or numbers. The other day in the supermarket behind me, a lady was um, had her young son who was very chatty and he was counting um, things in the shopping in English. He was um, maybe about four or five and she then asked him to count them in te reo. And so he was practicing his counting in the supermarket and I just thought how wonderful that she's doing that for him so that he gets the chance to keep on practicing. And we can do that as well as adults for ourselves and for the children around us. So whatever you do know, the numbers, the colours, the greetings, whatever things you do know in te reo, use those as often as possible, ensuring that you have the correct, correct pronunciation, of course. Not much point talking about totra and kauri and pūkeko. 
if we're trying to practice that because that's not the correct pronunciation. Tōtara, kauri, pūkeko. And so that's really important to be thinking about that as well. When you've really got used to using all the things that you already know and it's happening a lot and you're using those things and practicing on every signpost you see or other signage that you see, you can add a new phrase. And on our site we've got uh, several tags about phrases. So choose one, one that you like, that you can use a lot of places and use that. Practice it. Use it a lot till it becomes part of you. Don't bother about trying to practice three. Use one. One phrase as often as you can in appropriate ways. Just until it becomes part of you again, like the other things, like the other phrases that you already knew. And then when you've used one phrase often enough and you think, oh wow, I'm using that automatically without thinking about it, then you can add another phrase. It might be one a week, it might be one a month. It'll just depend on how often you use it and how quickly you're able to assimilate that new learning. So this can be the job you can be doing for months and months and months and years. And then if you are ready to move on to sentences, start with really small, relevant sentences. Um, things that are going, you're going to be able to use and um, scaffold off for other sentences. A sentence which will be able to change one word and then make that into a new sentence. And under our sentence structures videos, you'll see some of those. So hopefully that's encouraged you. I hope that you're all going really well on your Te Reo journey. And if you're not, um, just go back to basics and try doing that and have a look at some videos under those different categories. And I wish you all the best and please keep in touch with me about any questions or comments or suggestions. I love hearing from you. Ka kite.